Okay, and this is the Aura. It's a 360 video camera that is specifically designed for live 360 video. I'm super excited to get my hands on it, so let's check it out. First, I have the camera right here, which is, has four lenses on every side. Then we have the actual stitching box, so that you don't have to carry the old Valhanna system. We have a stitching box that comes with it. Next, comes with a couple cables. So here's a, this cable is, um, you know, kind of like an Ethernet cable that will go directly into the into the camera itself. Then you have a power supply. Which is awesome. Power supply. The this is the um, you know injector for the power net power over the Ethernet. So you put these you know Ethernet cables and this uh, this um, USB cables and that, that powers the device itself, the camera itself. Now, what's really cool about this uh, particular camera is that it has one cable that you need. So, this is an Ethernet cable, and it could run up to 300 feet. So, you can have the box stitching far away from the actual camera. So, I think that's really cool. Okay, then. So next step is to take this um, Ethernet cord and connect it to a power um, injector. And that's really important because uh, simple, simply the uh, Ethernet cable doesn't have enough power to power it. So I want to just pop and this comes with a short Ethernet cable here. These. These just pop it into the back of the aura itself. Now the aura is, you know, it has some HDMI slots. It has this kind of Wi-Fi antenna, which I'll pop in in a minute. But this is where these two cords go. Right here, one and two. Okay. And uh, okay. Next, you plug in the power supply into. the or itself then next you put the the, the Wi-Fi connector done okay sweet so everything's plugged in oh last but not least take this which is coming from the camera remember so it's the, the the cord to the injector to the camera itself okay oh look there's a green light there i didn't notice that okay cool next we need a direct line to the ethernet all right so this is uh, ethernet cable right there we go. All the cables are connected, and we have a red light here, so you're ready. To go. Okay, hello everyone. We're back. So now we, I've taken the time to turn on the Aura, and it is now connected to my computer via Wi-Fi. So you just have to select Aura underscore whatever the. Um, Wi-Fi is, and then your password is, it's on the quick start guide, but it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then you have your stream preferences. Now, all you need to do is so add these, um, change these stream preferences to whatever your, like, YouTube um, um, RTMP server is, and add the stream key here. 
Okay, so now if you want to record the live video to YouTube, all you have to do is just go to your YouTube channel, hit on, click on the Creator Studio. That is going to launch the live streaming player. Now, as of this recording, it'll default to like stream now, but unfortunately you cannot do 360 video on the stream now settings. So all you need to do is click on events, then new live event, title it, so like test live aura, and then you can add a description, then you just click on the event setting tab and you have to make sure that 360 video is selected. So 360 live stream is selected. You click on create. That's going to give you, so you can add a thumbnail um, at these resolutions. I suggest using this 3000 to 6000 um, bits per second. And then this is the stream information that you need to pop into the Aura interface to whatever it is. And then you go back and you click on start streaming and it'll start streaming directly to your um, YouTube site. And this is, it's that simple. Um, I have found that the, you know, the network settings, you have to check these IP settings in order to make sure that it works properly. And you can change your video resolution uh, here if you need to do so. Um, you save the changes, go to live control room, and then you hit preview. This should turn green. Um, I also suggest that you use uh, two screens because once you turn the internet on, you once you connect to the Wi-Fi at this uh, 10.224.224.224, you can't use the, the internet. And so... Um, you can connect using your phone and then start the stream um, and create the settings on your phone and then um, on your computer you can um, put the stream data information but this works pretty well um, so after you enter your um, ingestion settings and your stream um, information um, the RNT or, or TMP stream information into the web application of the Aura um, you should be just easy, straight ready to go. You just click on live control room and click on the preview and you should be able to see the stream. Um, if you have any questions or need any help, just please feel free to contact us at uh, vrvideo.co. Um, yeah, feel free to contact me and uh, I'll be glad to answer any questions. Uh, thank you very much.